man, I, I mean, doesn't life just fly by? I, I guarantee you, almost all of us in this room right now would say, I can't believe I'm already this old. Right? Wouldn't we all say that? And you're like, wasn't I young just a little bit ago? Wasn't I cool just a little bit ago? And it wasn't that little bit ago. It just flies by. We all look at our lives and go, I, I can't believe I'm at this stage already. I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm at this age. I used to look at people at this age and think, wow, they're so old. And that's me now. And I'm telling you, you guys, the Bible says your life's a vapor. Boom, it's over. And that's why he says, listen, while well, you have opportunity, do good. You do good. You know, people have said to me, you know, how come every week you're still so, you still care so much about what you say. And it seems like every service you get even more fired up. Every, and I go, you know, because I really think to myself, this could be my last message on earth. I've had friends who died while preaching. I, 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 you know, it just, I don't know this isn't my last time. And so I want to say everything I need to say while I still have the opportunity. And, and I, I want you to, to look me in the eyes right now because, listen, I, I don't know. I don't know how it all works when it ends, when it's over. You know, I'll read certain passages that make me think that you and I will know each other and we'll recognize each other and we'll remember things on the earth. Other verses, I go, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like we forget the things on the earth that cause so much pain. I don't know. But here's the deal. Here's what I want to say. Some of you I'm going to see in heaven. Okay? Whether we'll recognize each other, whether we'll remember this moment right now, I'm not totally sure. Okay, I go back and forth on that one my theology and trying to understand the scriptures. But here's what I don't want. Let's, let's suppose we remember our lives on earth and we remember everything that we went through together. I don't want any of you looking me in the eye thousand years from now, 10,000 years from now, million years from now, and say, Francis, when we were on the earth, you weren't serious enough about God. And you didn't look me in the eye and seriously tell me how huge this was. And so I want to look you in the eyes right now and tell you, listen, nothing in your life matters accept what you do for God. That's it. That's it. Every ounce of energy you spend on something else is a waste. Every dollar you spend on something else is a waste. That you really need to think through, how am I investing my life? Because when you stand before God, all the things that you worried about on the earth that you just love so much and were concerned about, you're going to realize this, that didn't matter. And I don't want you looking at me and saying, hey, why weren't you more serious up there? Because I'm telling you, there's going to come a time and that time's going to come before you realize that you're going to stand before God and go, what did I do with my life? You need to think through every decision and think through, is this what God would want for me? do with my time, do with my effort, my passions, my resources, because this is just little seed time, like when you drop the seed, into this, that, that's just how quick it is, that's it, and the question is, what did you do with your life, and some of you are absolutely wasting it, and I'm telling you now, so I, I can go with a clean conscience and go, you know what, I told them. Everything else is a waste. And I am constantly reevaluating re my life. Going, God, okay, now, am I doing what I need to be doing? Am I investing like I ought to be investing? I'm constantly looking at my life because I realize this is all that matters. And we'll all see it one day. I just don't want it to catch you by surprise.